Hello everybody, welcome to my first tutorial here on some simple texturing basics to help you out. And one thing I would like to do today is teach you, I see this a lot, especially with the dev measurement boxes, those orange texture levels, is half of them are facing the wrong direction. I've been told by a few people that, oh, it's a problem with hammer, oh, it can't be done, I'm going to have to go through the whole level and select every face and align, and that's completely untrue. It's very, very simple, and it only takes one step, and this is how you do it. So I've got my box selected. I'm going to put on those dev measurement boxes, make it a little smaller, easier to see. Okay, now I fly around, and they're backwards. Backwards, and these two should be right. Yep, these guys are right. So we're going to go over here to the backwards one. Now, what's happening here is, by default, world is usually selected. And what the texture is trying to do is the world is out here somewhere, <clears throat> and it's trying to align to that. So all you have to do is come down here and just hit face. That's it. Bang. They're facing the right direction. They're all going the right direction because now they are being applied to the face of the brush instead of the world of the brush. There's one other way to do it. Go back. All right, it's backwards is you want to flip this texture you can go into the minus so you get your X which is your left right and if you bring that down into the minus 40 you see it flipped around and it's now facing the right direction now I had the whole thing selected so now these are backwards so just make sure you're selecting your correct brush not everything uh, second thing uh, you navigating around in this view and you select something and you know you want to get the whole thing you gotta go around and select and bang and Hold control and now you're grabbing all the sides. Uh, there's a much easier way. If you hold down, if you hold down shift while you select, it will grab the whole brush, all the sides. And that can really save you a lot of time instead of spinning through the whole level. Uh, and you want to keep going, you hold down control and shift, and you'll be able to keep selecting every face of the particular brush you select. The last thing I'd like to mention is, I can't recreate it, it happens sometimes, is you pop up your brush box here and you're unable to navigate inside of this area. Um, there's a real simple way to fix that. All, all you have to do is take this and move it out of the center of the screen and you'll re-grab your viewport and be able to navigate. Uh, I don't know why it happens, I couldn't recreate it, it just happens sometimes. So if it happens to you, that's the way you can fix it. All right, well, there's a couple of quick things. Maybe I'll do one more real fast. This is probably the only other option I ever use inside down in this mode, lift and select. So let's get ourselves a different texture. And put it here, oops, and apply. I want to make sure it's on the face. Sometimes the textures, they'll both be checked and you can't mess with it. Uh, and if that happens, it's just because it only gets aligned one direction. Okay, uh, yeah. Generally speaking, to make a texture look correct when you hit fit, is you bring the larger number down to whatever the smaller number is. That's just a quick guideline to get it to look correct. I'll just bring this down to 130 and close to it. Now you see it looks a lot better. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Now I got to select all these and keep going. Well, if you got the one you wanted selected, come down here to mold lift. Uh, there's a few different things here. I'm just going to touch upon the one I use all the time, is apply texture and value. What that just did was it grabbed this texture, add its value and everything. Now instead of selecting stuff and then having to hit apply and apply, you'll automatically just put the texture down at those exact values and everything will always keep lining up and fitting for you because they're all set the same. Alright, well that's a few things there to maybe help you out. Uh, happy mapping.